So, uh, Javier, it's amazing to be able to talk to you about uh, Rings. It's coming out on DVD. Uh, I think starting today and then also Blu-ray, right? Yeah, uh, Blu-ray the May the 2nd. Yes. Yeah. So, so what, what is it that drew you to the, the Rings, I guess, the story of it? Well, I, I mean, I was a fan of the first Ring movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I loved it when I watched it. And um, I heard that they were developing for years, like a, a new chapter in the franchise. So when Walter Parks, the producer, came to me and he told me, look, we have been working of a new chapter of the movie. Uh, we want to go back to the first Ring movie. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to um, go to the classic movie making of, of those, you know, of, the, of 2000 mm -hmm. and do a mystery. Um, but we want to have like a parade with like new cast. And it sounded like very interesting just uh, as a fan of the first one to be able to, to work with the elements uh, and the visuals of, of Samar Morgan. It, it was a fun idea. And, yeah. And I, I was gonna try as as a fan of the first one again. I was gonna try to be respectful as much as I could, and uh, with the with the roots of of our girl, right, of Tamara. <laughs> right. <laughs> because you know who doesn't love a good you know snow fuzz on the screen and what could possibly lurk out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and admittedly, like I, I'm waiting to see how many people are going to get sent the DVDs randomly by friends just to mess with them. So I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's going to happen for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So, of course, I saw the film, and um, I loved how, of course, it, 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 the, the, the turn on the extra current technology, uh, screens everywhere, all that stuff, and you're never safe. And <laughs> yeah. It, so, how'd you feel about putting all that into it? Well, actually, uh, that was one of the concepts that was really exciting to play with, uh, with this movie. We didn't go, like, extreme. We, we kept that for future chapters, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but in this one, as you say, we play a little bit with the fact that we are surrounded by tablets, iPads, uh, phones, and everything. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and having Samara, that is like a, you know, it's like a, um, she is the perfect world for her now, right? Mm -hmm. So it was uh, cool. It was uh, risky to, to play with that, you know, because sometimes the concept that works great in the Japanese culture can feel goofy, you know, if you adapt it to an American culture. Mm -hmm. But I think that the people who understand the Japanese movies and, and the concept of, of Samar Morgan will appreciate it when we try to update it right. and, and do those crazy things, right? Absolutely. Now, like, this is an amazing jump because I know that you, you have a degree in law, right? Yeah. And then I saw that you dabbled in in uh, production stuff back then. And yeah. so what, what made you go from law to this? I mean, granted, yeah. it's good to know law for film, yeah. of course. <laughs> yeah. but. Uh, well, I started law, but uh, um, I came from a very conservative family. So in Spain, there's no movie industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, it was uh, like it was like really crazy to say, okay, I'm gonna be a filmmaker. And I still wanted to be a filmmaker, so I started to study law. And at the same time, I put together a small production company to produce my short films in mm -hmm. Spain. Uh, it was called Doctor T because of an uh, old movie called The Five Thousand Fingers of Doctor T. And then I started to put uh, together little short films that they got a lot of attention and awards internationally. Um, because of that, I, I was able to direct my first movie in Europe before the fall. That is, uh, I wrote too with a friend. Uh, it's very different to Rins, but it's a uh, very strong and very intense movie too. It's like a strong thriller. Mm -hmm. So that was, I don't know, it was like, a, you know, the law thing, it's, it's actually a good thing to have mm -hmm. sometimes, so you can read a contract. <laughs> right. but, but yeah, definitely, since I was a kid, I always wanted to, to work in the movies. So it was like naturally, you know, yeah. there. I'm also. glad that you like, it, that was the thing more to do at that moment, but you found your, your passion and went with it. And you yeah. found ways to fund it as well. And yes. Made it happen. And yeah, yeah, it's like a long path, but a very strange one too. Uh, but yeah, it's, yeah, you can, you have to go for for what, for your dreams. It sounds like a little bit like that is real. Yep. 
so. follow your gut and all that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did because this movie was creepy and awesome, <laughs> and you. I like the the thriller and the, the the mystery of it all. So. Yeah, the thriller element. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So excited to see more, even more from you. So. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you so, you much. so much. Thank you. <laughs>